So the very first thing you need to do if you want to try and get these 97 overall playoff masters and try and get that 99 Nikola Jokic is head over into the limited time events. Now there are two different sections to the event as it were. There's sort of this top band running across the top full of 16 events. Most of them are going to be locked when you start off this promo, but don't worry, more will unlock as we keep going through. The first event over here does have a 24 hour cooldown. So every different event is going to reset every 24 hours after it has been launched. So that means that this very first event is going to be out for 24 hours and 12 hours after the event has dropped, this one's going to drop as well. And you'll keep going through and eventually all of these different events at the top will be unlocked as we keep going through the entirety of the promo. So day one will get you about 1,500 points. And as we keep going through more and more events will unlock. So the last day of the promo will have all 16 events being able to be used and getting points from as well. But I can't really do a huge amount of calculations just because it's all going to depend on what players you get and when because all the players are going to give you a little bit of a boost and the very first thing you want to do before you play any of these events is get this clay thompson and the reason for that is you can basically put him onto your bench because he's going to give out a little bit of a boost when it comes to getting points from the promo so if we put him on my bench over here you can put him on your main starting shooting guard it's up to you i just stick him on my bench you can see on the right hand side it shows he's giving out a playoff points boost now what this means is if we go back into limited time events we go into a blitz event over here you can see it's a plus four percent boost so I'm not just going to get those 500 playoff points. I'm also going to get 500 points plus that extra 4% boost. And that's going to help me a lot when it comes to grinding this promo. And that's the key to this promo, getting players that have the playoff points boost. But what players do actually have that playoff points boost? Well, it's all those 97 overall masters. So that Devin Booker, Zach Levine, Draymond Green, and Clay Thompson. All of these guys you can see by the icon just under that 97 overall is going to give out a playoff points boost. That's probably going to be around 20% here and there. That's just me taking a guess though. And then also these guys over here, the 93 overall players are also going going to give you a little bit of a boost so whenever you get these guys stick them onto your team whatever team you're using to play through the events it doesn't just have to be this team if you want to try and make two teams you can put them on this one over here and then make sure you're using that lineup only to play through the event because that's going to give you the boost when it comes to it but to keep it simple just put them on your main lineup use them to play through the event and that will help you keep going through if you want to try and upgrade the clay thompson you're going to need seed tokens and every time you do so take him out of your team so put someone else in his place go into sets put him in the set use that seed token that you get from the milestones and then once i've got the higher overall clay thompson i will then put him back into my team and just keep doing that on repeat so i keep upgrading him and getting more playoff points boost as we keep going through the promo but all of these playoff points are going to help you in the milestones over here you can see you'll get some player packs you'll get some select packs you'll get some seed tokens which are specific to getting that clay thompson upgraded you're going to keep going through you'll get some more select packs and we'll go on to exactly what the players can be used for but to get that clay thompson up to 97 overall you're going to need to get up to 124,000 of the playoff points which i definitely think is possible especially if you're normally spent that's easily done then to be able to get one extra 97 so either devon booker draymond green or Zach Levine, you're going to need to get up to 148,000 points. Another one's going to be coming at 200,000 points. And the last one over here is going to be a real tough grind to get up to 300,000 points to get yourself all three of those 97 milestone masters. Now you're going to need all three plus that Clay Thompson to be able to get Nikola Jokic. So the only way you can get Jokic is either if you win a giveaway or you get up to 300,000 playoff points, which is going to be a very tough grind. I reckon no money spent will probably get two of these milestone masters plus that extra Clay Thompson. And then you can always push and try and get yourself 300,000. 300,000 for a nominee spent player is probably going to be a little bit of luck involved in you trying to get that card, but it is going to require you to play every single event that is available for you and trying to get those players that give out boosts as quickly as possible. But these top events are going to give you a pack which does actually give you a player and those players are going to be useful in the sets which you can see there are two main sets you want to use the players for. You can use them on this set over here which is 10 players so two from each different overall. You can see I picked myself up an 84 overall player. You need to get each overall twice to be able to get yourself a 93 select pack or you can exchange 15 random players to be able to get yourself a 93 select pack as well. To be honest, on the very first master or the very first 93 you're getting, it doesn't really matter which set you do. As long as you can get it the quickest way, then do that. If you've got 15 players ready to go for this set, use them in this set just to get your first player. You can worry about trying to do the set afterwards on the second player, maybe the third player, but try and get that 93 as quickly as possible because that's going to help you out the most with this promo. You can also exchange 12 76 to 93 overall players, any player from any different Different promo or base players it doesn't really matter you can exchange them for 1600 playoff points and you can do this every six hours so that in total means you can do it four times a day pretty much which is going to basically help you out 
a lot when it comes to the milestones. As I said, upgrading Clay Thompson is going to require one seed token for every two overalls until you get to the very end, which is 97 overall. As we keep going through, all of the ones are going to give more and more of the playoff points boost. As you can see by the right hand side over there, each one's going to go up as we keep going through the promo. Nikola Jokic, as I said, place our select center. You are going to need all four of those 97 masters, three from the milestones and one from that Clay Thompson being upgraded slightly separately to get yourself that 99 Nikola Jokic over here then also in the store there is some extra stuff if we go over to the right hand side you can see i've opened all of these ones already but this one on the far right hand side is a free claim pack make sure you're doing this one it refreshes daily and you will get yourself a free 250 playoff points from that one you can see there's an extra five packs to open it either costs 5k coins or you can watch an ad that'll get you an extra 250 playoff points times that by five that's 1250 every single day just on that coin pack alone there's one above that for 100 nba cash gets yourself 1000 playoff points 1000 nba cash gets yourself a playoff starter pack giving yourself some players to help you out in the sets it's also got a boom or bust pack for 300 nba cash and all of these money offers if you are willing to spend real money to be able to get yourself a vip event pass some extra playoff points some stamina some boom and bust packs all of that stuff there are some store exclusive players which is a 91 conley 91 barnes and a 91 barton each one's going to give you that 10 percent playoff points boost as i said same with those 97 masters who i think are going to be 20 percent boost as it were but these are going to give you boost and make sure you're sticking them onto your team because that's going to help you the most there's no point in getting these guys and then not using them at all it's more valuable for you with this promo is to stick them onto your team even if it lowers your overall just to help you with this promo so because this is basically dependent on when you get those players giving out boosts and what sort of boost they're giving out i can't really do a huge amount of calculations when it comes to this promo based off of previous promos of this format yes this one's only seven days so i think you could probably get one clay thompson completely free and only spent that's guaranteed i do also think you can get another 97 completely free and then if you grind a bit further i think you could maybe get up to 200,000 of these points and then if you get really lucky plus grind every single event i do think you might be able to get 300,000 points to get yourself that 97 master but that doesn't mean that everyone who is a nominee spent player is going to be able to get up to that final 97 and get the Jokic I do think it is possible but it is going to require a bit of luck and also you being able to play through every single event so I do think it is possible but it's dependent on whether you get those players really quickly and what sort of players you do get so again I can't really do any calculations I just have to go off what we have got previously with this sort of promo format of what we've got and that is just solely based on the boost i can however work out how much you're going to get from the sets so if you take this 1600 exchange set for example you can do it four times every single day that's going to put you up to 6400 points daily times that by seven because the promo is going for seven days that puts you up to 44.8 thousand playoff points just from the sets alone the store as well i can work out because it's not dependent on any players giving out a boost you can see you're going to get 1500 points every single day times that by seven that gets you up to 10,500 points from the store alone add the two together that puts you up to 55,300 playoff points on the store and the sets again that doesn't put you a huge amount through the milestones but that is not considering any of the different events or the blitz events at the bottom over there so i'm not including any of that stuff just because it is all dependent on your boost and what you're getting through as you play through the events but don't worry more events will unlock as we keep going through the promo it's not just going to be this one event at the top unlocking for the very first time you're going to get more as you keep going through there's also a leaderboard but to get to the top you're probably going to have to be pay to win depending on what sort of leaderboard you've got at the top over here you're going to get a luka Doncic, who is another 97 master but he's solely got from getting through the leaderboard as you can see the guy at the top 46,400 points i've got no chance of getting up to the top but you can try your hardest and try and get some extra rewards as we go along over here this is going to last the entirety of the promo and you can try and get lucky and try and get up to the top of the leaderboard so make sure you're playing through every single event you possibly can and to do so you're going to require a lot of stamina and if you want to know exactly how you can get tons of stamina in nba live mobile season six go check out the video in the bottom left hand corner where i went through all the tips and tricks i know to be able to get all of that stamina to help you with this promo go check out that video and i'll see you guys in that one peace